So now we're going to look at a content security policy, and this basically ensures that the resources to our site are only delivered from certain sources that we declare as trusted. So a content security policy is basically like a header or a meta tag, I guess, and it looks something like this. So for ex this is one, for example, and what this says is that um, um, JavaScript can be only be loaded from these two places and style sheets can only be loaded from these places. So it basically says uh, the type of resource and then where they, where they can be loaded from. And um, there's a resource for this on the official content security policy website and it has a list of um, all the sources. So this default source basically means um, for if we don't declare a specific type of source, this all the everything will be only available to be loaded from the the places that we set here unless they've been specified otherwise script is for where scripts can be loaded from um style is for when st where style sheets can be loaded from we have images fonts objects and bunch of stuff right here and um, then we also have um a resource for the source list and what you can do is you can have star which means it allows anything and um, we have none which is it doesn't allow from anywhere self which means it's allowed from its own domain. And then we have, we can use stuff like star.example.com. So this means any subdomain from that website. Um, and you can I use like HTTPS, which means any secure site and so on. So there's a bunch of ways that we can do this. Another thing to note is um, down here, it says CSP is unsupported by older browser. I should say older browsers, but okay. Um, we can see that um, Intent Explorer are good outdated friend doesn't actually support it so um it only works for newer browsers but most people are using newer browsers so this should be okay and the way we can set up um, a content security policy header is you can use um, a helmet middleware called csp and what you can do is inside it you can give this directives object and you can s declare what each of these have to be so you can set the what the the default sources are then you can set where scripts can be loaded from where you can set objects can be loaded from and so on and so on and inside all of these you just give this array here with a string inside it and it has um the sources right here like this so let's let's go ahead and do that now so again um for this i'm just gonna double check this yeah we should be using um helmet version 2.3.0 so make sure that you have that otherwise these tests won't pass so in myapp.js, we want to just go down here and we want to call the um, app.use here to mount this for all um, sources or all um, routes, I guess. And we want to say helmet, oops, helmet.csp like this. And we want to call this method. And remember that inside this, um, you give this um, options object right here. So that's the first layer. There's a lot of objects embedding in this, so I'll try and keep it as clear as possible. And then inside this, you give this um, entry called directives like this. And you want to set this to another object inside it. And um, what I'm going to do is open up this object because um, it's getting a bit crowded now. So inside the directives objects, you add entries for each of the different um, types, for each of the different, um, I forgot what they're called, um, directives so you want to set to set up the ones for the default scripts and so on and in this what they want us to do is we want to set a default and we also want to set a script so the first one we want to set is default so we'll say default src like this and again you can use um camel case or you can use like um kebab case which is like this dash right here they both work okay so we've said div we've declared a default um src directive and what we want to do is give um, an array of accepted sources like this. So we can do an array in here like this. And this is going to be an array that contains um, strings. So the first one we want to set it to is self. So that's what they said here. So this has to be self. So by default, unless we specify otherwise, all resources can only be loaded from the same domain name. So that's this FCC um, helmet2.glitch.me in my case. And um, what we're going to be setting this to is self. And when we're not giving a domain like this, we have to give self um, in quotation marks because I guess it's a description so inside this quotation mark we want to give another set of quotations and then put self like this and that will 
basically it's say that um, by default only load content from the same domain. We want to add another entry um, for where we should load scripts from and that's this um, directive called script src. So we want to say script src like this. And again, this is going to be an array of allowed sources. And the two sources that we're going to be allowed from are our own website. So we want to add an entry first for self. So I'll put double quotes in here and then put um, self in single quotes like this. So that's self. So we're allowed in, allowing scripts from our own website. And we're also allowing scripts from um, this trusted cdn.com. And if we look, um, it might not be specified right here, but um, a C trusted CDNs are basically um, like things like um, CDNJS, for example, that you know are um, secure and they're giving away reliable scripts. So um, CDNJS is an example of this. And basically it has a bunch of script tags that you can add from certain libraries. And we know that th this is powered by Cloudflare. So we know that this is secure. So we can give um, trustedcdn.com here. And um, because we're not, because this is in one of these things like here and we're actually giving a domain and um, we don't have to put this inside quotation marks. So we can just add an entry here for trusted-cdn.com like this. And right now this is um, throwing an error because this CSP method right here, um, I think it's for a newer version of Helmet. And it says helmet.csp here, but it actually says helmet.content security policy. So I think in this old version, um, yeah, here it's CSP as well, but in this old version 2.3.0, this method is actually called um, content security policy, which is why this was throwing an error right here. So that should be everything we need to do, I think. So we can go ahead and I'm just going to run re restart here or refresh here to restart our glitch application. But that should be everything we need to do. So we basically just declared where um, our scripts and our default resources can come from. So what I'm going to do is open up the um, network tab of the developer tools and then see if we have our header set. So I'm just going to give this a hard reload and I'm going to go ahead and submit this. And you can see that the tests have passed. And if we look in this, I think, um, and we look here, we can see content security policy header right here has been set and the default SRC has been set to self, which means it only allows by default resources to come from the same domain. And you can see the script SRC has been set to self and also trusted CDN.com. So basically from the same domain or from a trusted um, CDN or content delivery network that we know to be secure. And I think um, that's maintained somewhere else as a list of those, I guess. I don't know how that works to be honest. But again, yeah, that's everything you need to um, pass that challenge. So you can go ahead and submit that. And we basically figured out a way where we can ensure the resources on our site only come from specific locations.